Tucker Carlson now seems to have gone fully into the universe of deep mental illness or willing overt grifter. I don't know which one it is. Uh, this video clip was called to my attention. There is a movie called The Christianities Movie. I guess it's about Christianity. OK, in this video, Tucker Carlson tells the story that he was mauled by a demon while sleeping in his bed, woke up, had gashes in his leg, which have still not healed. Now, as we go through this, my question to you is very specific. Is this mental illness and Tucker now is delusional or is this something Tucker is making up because he now is trying to fit into this new role? You know, he's doing prayer on stage with Russell Brand and this kind of rehabilitation of Tucker where this is just a character that he's playing and he knows these are lies. In other words, does Tucker believe he was mauled by a demon in his bed or doesn't he? Let's listen to this. Do you think the presence of evil is kickstarting people to wonder about the good? That's what happened to me. That's what happened to you? Oh, yeah. I had a direct uh, experience with it. In the milieu of journalism or just? No, nope. in my bed at night and I got attacked while I was asleep with my wife and four dogs in the bed and mauled, <laughs> physically mauled. He was physically mauled while in his bed with his wife and four kids and dogs. And um, in a spiritual attack by a demon? Yeah, by a demon <laughs> or by something unseen that left. Is that right? Uh, claw marks on my sides, on my. So he left physical marks. Oh, they're still there. Yeah, yeah. A year and a half ago. Was your wife terrified? I know you were. I wasn't. I was totally confused. I woke up and I was couldn't breathe and I thought I was going to suffocate. And I walked around outside and then I walked in and my wife and dogs had not woken up and they're very light sleepers. And Suspicious. then I had these terrible pains on my rib cage and on my shoulder. And I was just in my boxer shorts and I went and flipped on the light in the bathroom and I had four claw marks on either side underneath my arms and on my left shoulder. Now, knowing nothing else, what would be the sanest explanation for this? Oh, it was it was your dog. Your dog scratched you. I mean, it, oh, but the wife didn't wake up. Okay, well, I mean, listen, we I, I don't know, but it, a demon mauled you and no one else noticed or your dog scratched you. What's more likely? What is what does he mean this stuff? I cannot tell whether Tucker is being sincere or whether he is grifting here. And they're bleeding. Wait, they were bleeding. They were bleeding, yeah. No, there were actual claw marks. And I sleep on my side, so I wasn't clawing myself. I don't have long nails. <laughs> um, and they didn't fit my hands anyway. But yeah, that happened. Did he file a police report? So I, I don't, I'm not from a world where things like that happen. I never heard of anything like that happening before. I had no idea what that was. I knew it was spiritual immediately. You did? Okay, that was going to be my question. Yeah. I, well, I don't understand to this you, day. I'm not going to put it you more didn't. Part. You didn't try to refute the spiritual part in your own mind. It went, you went right into the... Well, it idea. didn't make any sense, and right. it doesn't now. Um, so, but I'm not from a, what do they call it, faith tradition right. that... Um, talks about things like that or even acknowledges their existence. Like, there's nothing like that. I've, I've never heard anybody say anything like that in my whole life. What was the next day like? Well, the next morning I woke up and I thought, that was the weirdest dream I've ever had. And then I saw blood on my sheets and I realized that was not a dream at all. So I called my assistant, who was like the only evangelical Christian I know, you know, well enough to call with something bizarre like that, but totally bizarre like that. And uh, she said, oh yeah, no, 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 that happens. Yeah, people are attacked in their bed by demons. What? <laughs> okay. What what do you make of it? I mean, I is 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 Tucker this would be what I would call severe mental illness or he's lying. Or he's lying. I don't know the answer. I do not know the answer. Let's watch just a little bit more. What are you even talking about? <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I'm not leaving anything out. And um, and I'm not pretending to understand that. I can only say what happened to me and that did happen to me. And uh, and then I was seized with this very intense desire to read the Bible. 
uh, which I then started without any study aids or anything. I bought a Bible that didn't have any. I, I'm not interested in editorializing in the Bible. I just want to read it and see what's in there myself. I have very low levels of trust for Christian pastors, most of whom, you know, I'm just not a fan at all. And uh, sorry to say that, but that's how I feel. And so I just didn't, I don't want to hear other people's opinions. I just want to see what's in there. And I, so I spent a wow. year and a half reading it and then I started rereading it. And it was now, a, I can't ignore that Russell Brand, who has toured with Tucker, at least appeared at one of Tucker's events, experienced also a sort of come to Jesus thing. Remember, uh, Tucker had Russell read uh, lead prayer at their public event. So I, I genuinely don't know. I don't know if this is Tucker's mental illness coming through. I don't know if this is Tucker saying, here's a story I can come up with. I don't know if this is Tucker getting uh, you know, a little bit, a little bit ahead of himself, uh, uh, ahead of his skis and getting hopped up on the idea that um, the interviewer is interested in this story. I don't know what it is, but I leave it to you to tell me what is this new nonsense from Tucker Carlson on the bonus show today. We are going to go through some of the most interesting and important ballot measures that are on the ballot tomorrow. We are going to talk about the unpaid bills for hundreds of thousands of dollars that are being left behind by Trump to the cities in which he does rallies and some newly released tapes of Jeffrey Epstein saying he has a close relationship with Trump. Wow. Is this the October surprise? It doesn't seem to be because it's gotten barely any attention. All of those stories and more on today's bonus show. Sign up at joinpacman.com. Make sure you're subscribed as a member at joinpacman.com before the election to take advantage of the particularly explosive membership deal with the coupon code Save Democracy 24 and certainly pre-order the book The Echo Machine at davidpackmancom slash echo on Amazon, Barnes and Noble or anywhere audio books, ebooks or physical books are sold. We will see you on the bonus show and tomorrow for the final show before the election. I wrote a book. This was so much work and a long time coming, but I am thrilled about how it turned out and I hope you will read it. The book is called The Echo Machine. The 10 second summary is I explain how things broke in American politics, how to fix it and which countries have already figured it out. No matter who wins in November, we need a plan. And that's what the book is about. If Trump wins, the book is a warning about how we got here and how to prevent it from getting worse. If Kamala Harris wins, the book explains what we do with this incredible opportunity to improve the lives of Americans. The book faces long odds, I will admit. There's the belief that to have a successful political book, you need corporate media and that it really can't be done successfully with an independent media platform like mine. But I believe that we can prove them wrong. I hope you will order the book today. You can get the echo machine at davidpackmancom slash echo on Amazon, Barnes and Noble, Audible, Kindle, anywhere that books, ebooks and audio books are sold. You can also call any local bookstore ask them to order the echo machine by David Pakman. No matter where you get the book, you will get the free pre-order bonuses, including a signed book plate. After ordering, just go to davidpackmancom slash free book stuff, davidpackmancom slash free book stuff to get the free stuff. Let's do this.